Hey guys, we are just going to get started. Um, how are you all doing tonight? I love Mondays because I like to see your faces. I like to hear from everybody. Um, I feel like we're just hanging out in our living rooms, just brainstorming and helping one another out. So I love it. Um, okay, so first few items of business are cleanse promo. How's it going for you? And hopefully each one of you have ordered your own BOGO cleanse. Uh, I love it. Um, have any of you not tried the cleanse yet? You can speak up, you can use the chat, you can, there's a little raise hand button. Um, so speak up, like if you haven't. Who, have, who has not tried the cleanse? I've got a raised hand. Who? Allison has not, and did it, was it Adriana? Was that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Tessa has not. Okay. Um, awesome. So let me just tell you my thoughts about the cleanse. I've had other cleanses before. And I would be literally like plugging my nose and over the sink just in case it all came back up because it was disgusting. And the diet was super restrictive. Um, it lasted, I've had several. One was like seven days, one was 14 days. I know that there's others that are longer. Super tough and um, not much to eat. You're just cleansing out your body. Um, I... I have not had fun with cleanses before. Um, oh, yeah, Allison's pregnant, yeah. <laughs> uh, probably you shouldn't cleanse while you're pregnant. Um, holy cow, this cleanse is two days and it tastes good. Like some people don't, some people aren't a fan of the taste. I think it tastes like a yellow Sour Patch Kid with a red pepper kick. Very tropical, a little tart, but I, I drank it live and I was like, I hope I don't gag, you know, and I drank it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is pleasant. I can actually look forward to taking the second cleanse before dinner and not be terrified that I'm going to throw it all up. Um, I, I did not notice huge aha hallelujah moments with my first cleanse and you're not supposed to. Dr. Don has said you are not supposed to see huge changes because this is a gentle cleanse that is repairing the years of damage that the toxins and everything that's stored in the colon and in the bowels. So years of damage, it's trying to prepare and heal the damage that's been done before. And it's going to take time. It's not something you're going to notice right away. So if you don't notice anything immediately, it's still working on the inside. It's loosening things up. It's repairing. It's detoxing your liver and loosening things clear up in your upper bowels and in your colon. So after my two-day cleanse, I noticed over the next four days after effective bowel movements, and I'll just say effective. It wasn't, I was never, never, never had a lack of control ever. I had been shopping, I had been um, grocery shopping, Walmart, Target, running around. People have been on airplanes, no problems whatsoever. Um, my second cleanse that I did was hallelujah, super effective, things were moving with complete control but it just felt like things were really starting to be regular and i was flushing things out um, more than the first one so just let your customers know this is a gentle cleanse and you need to understand it's not a laxative you're not supposed to be camping out that's too harsh on your body ours is super um effective without the harsh side effects okay um so i want you guys to purchase the cleanse yourself i want you to buy it i want you to try it 
And Dr. Dawn has said once a month we should be cleansing, but you can cleanse once a week if you feel you need to. I was, I was loving it, you guys. <laughs> I, but, but we don't usually advertise it, but you can talk to someone privately and, and you know, if that's something that they're really needing help with flushing things out, then that's something you can talk to them privately about. Do we have any questions about the cleanse? Hey, Hannah, I see that you hopped on and Taz. Hey. Um, any questions, you guys? Corey, the first time you cleansed was while you were traveling to Florida. Did you notice anything? Um, the first time I cleansed, um, and it was when cleanse first came out, um, I was actually really, like, like you said, you know, I think people um, expect to, like, have these, like, miraculous, like, bowel movements or something like that. And I was actually constipated for, like, four days. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this thing sucks. And, um, it was kind of uncomfortable to be honest with you. Um, but then after like four days is when th like things became effective and I didn't lose any weight, but my before and after picture is actually in the, um, dare to dream page under the corporate approved photos. And you can see that all of my bloating was like completely gone and we were on vacation. So I indulged and I had like a great time with it. Um, with our vacation and found that that all that bloating stayed away um and i never like was you know worried about traveling on the like on the air in the airport or on the plane or anything um like that and i just tried my first cleanse actually i just finished it the other day um and i breastfeed so i was super nervous but i talked to my doctor and he said that because you can eat on it he didn't he wasn't worried um, I will say I noticed that Harper was a little fussy, um, a little fussy when I did cleanse. So just the, and that might just be something that she, you know, she's sensitive to one of the ingredients in cleanse because she, I do have a very restricted diet because she is, she's sensitive to what I eat. Um, but I noticed this time around a four pound weight loss difference. So Whoa. yeah, yeah. So if it, like you said, if it doesn't, if you're not getting the results you want the first time around, that's why we do a 90 day challenge because, yes. um, you are just preparing your body for the results that you're looking for at the end of those 90 days. Exactly. Anyone else that's had experience, um, with the cleanse that they want to share? Tiffany or Stephanie, have you guys used the cleanse? Yeah. Um, and that's, I kind of had the same, um, where I felt like I've, I've only cleansed once, so I'm going to be doing my second time when it comes in. Um, but I noticed that I didn't see any difference on the scale. Um, but I could see it, the bloating in my stomach and I had no, my nothing changed with my routine. Um, and it was, it was really, it was really great to have. And I felt, I just felt better afterwards. I had more nat natural energy. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so we still have till tomorrow night, 11.59 Central Time, which is 10.59 Utah, 9.59 California, Nevada time to be selling the BOGO cleanse. Um, we can be advertising it on Instagram, on Facebook. Go live. Use your Insta stories. Use your Facebook stories. Um, go live and share this. Like, share with them what it is what it does share with them um you can read it right out of um the product pamphlet or off of the off of your e-suite like share with them what it does how why this is amazing and why they should be signing up for the bogo um the other thing that i wanted to touch on you guys this is so amazing corporate is hands down the best corporate i've ever had oh my gosh they just announced last night that because the, the business builder kits, the BBKs, if you hear that, the $10 kits and the $59 kits, because they were on back order, they decided to give us an extra 14 days for those people to get their four loyal customers and get their $100 shopping spree and to be fast start qualified. 
you guys, this is incredible. When I joined five years ago, all of our kits were on back order. I didn't get my kit for like four to five weeks, but I didn't know anything different. I was like, oh, okay. Um, I didn't get my kit for four to five weeks and we just carried on about business. But I was like, really? You guys are giving them an extra 15, 14 days? So from the day that you signed up, you have an extra 14 days. You have 44 days to get your four loyal customers and the $100 in free product. So how can we help you guys get those four loyal customers? Um, you want to be fast start qualified, which means when you sign up a distributor and they get two customers in 30 days, you get a hundred dollar bonus. But if, if you're, if you yourself don't have those two customers, you can't become fast start qualified. You can't get that bonus unless you have those customers as well. So I think that's a perfect segue. We're going to have Stephanie talk to us about how she is a customer signing machine. She's amazing. And she's just been adding to our boom challenge like crazy. <laughs> how many did you just add? Five. Five. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so we're going to listen to her. She's going to offer some tips, tricks, secrets about how she signs loyal customers. Um, let's have question and answer if people want to ask questions. If anyone else wants to offer tips, you know, if that jogs a memory, write it down and let's talk about it and, and feel free to share your ideas as well. And then after that, we're going to talk a little bit about personal development. Um, so Stephanie, take it away. All right. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Stephanie. And I want you to know that just stop. I know there's a chat in here and you can just turn your microphone on. Just stop me whenever because I just totally love to like answer any question that comes to mind kind of just when it comes to mind rather than, oh, I'll let her finish and do it at the end type of thing. So if it ever happens, just put it in the chat or just turn your microphone on. That way we can just like address it right then. Um, and also, I just want to let you know that because I haven't been able to be in any meetings yet, whatever, if I'm talking about something and it's, you know, you've, it's totally been covered already and this is just overkill, just tell me and I can move on just because I don't have kind of the background. So whatever, if anything is going on and you've totally gotten it, just let me know. Um, so as far as signing loyal customers, they, they tell you not to wait for the kit. And I cannot agree with that more. Step one, don't wait for the kit. Um, I do, everybody's different and I absolutely understand that. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it's very important that you lean on the faith of your leaders when it comes to these products. Just lean on our faith for now know that they work and just go for it. It's really important to show um, in person, but also on social media, because that's a little, that's a more of a paper trail than you're talking about things that you go into it and you kind of never back off. Once I became a distributor, I started posting and I have not taken a day off. And that really kind of shows how serious you are about your business. And I will get, I guarantee you that the way you treat your business is exactly the way people see it. So if you, you know, announce, I'm a distributor, I'm so excited, and then, you know, they see you trail off after three days and kind of disappear for seven days, come back, they're not, they're honestly not going to treat you quite as seriously. So it's really important to just show, hey, I am committed, I am here, and I'm going to be posting consistently because I believe in this. So it's just like the one thing I've kind of seen just as, I've only been a distributor for five months, but it's just the things I've seen is that just when you start, it's very important to just show that you're going to be consistent and show that it's important to you and that you know that these products work. Um, so honestly, the, as far as, you know, me enrolling customers, my step one to doing it was committing to doing it. Just saying, I'm going to commit to signing customers and I don't care if my kid's here and I don't care what else. I, I worked full time um, up until uh, this month and I just kind of committed. So that's like the first what, you know, one-on-one to signing a lot of customers is to committing to actually doing it. Um, so along with that, an important thing to know is 80% of your success is your mindset. And then, and 20% is everything else. So just deciding. And as far as having that mindset, this is something I actually do. This is an exercise I do. I have a sticky note and I write on it. Exactly. I write, I am an, an, an enrolling loyal customer machine everyone wants to enroll with me and even though even if that sounds funny it's great to, because if you write things down i don't know what the percentage is i don't know 60 percent, whatever more likely for things to happen 
So just actually writing that down and reading that to myself every day actually helps me. It's kind of like an affirmation. And it's kind of, you know, saying, no, I'm an enrolling machine. Everybody wants to enroll with me. Even if you don't believe it that day, say it anyway. Because that really does help. Um, and so you so, do that every single day. You write a new sticky note that says the same thing. Yes. And I just, because I could say, obviously, I memorized it. I could just say it every day. But writing it down, it just makes it more likely to happen. Mm -hmm. And actually, I, I learned that from an ambassador on a Monday meeting. So that's kind of something an ambassador does. So, all right. So, when it comes to slanting loyal customers, there's there's three parts. It's the posting, the messaging, and then the follow up. And all three are super important. So I want to kind of start with messaging. So, sorry, start with posting, then go to messaging, and then go to follow up. Does anybody have any questions so far? All right, so as far as posting, you want to do it four to six times a day. And you don't want to stop what you're already doing, just add into your personal posts. When I started, I was actually kind of silent on Facebook. You, you might have heard from me three times a year when something crazy big happened. So it was kind of a change for me, but what I realized is people are going to buy you before they buy the product. So you wanna open up your life, and then people are gonna kind of just naturally come to you. It's kind of the reason, um, people, reality TV stars are famous. It's because they open their life up to you. And so that's what you, you want to do. Believe me, I wasn't doing lives and things like that before it works. It's not just, it's not fun. So I, if you're thinking in your head, okay, I'm not going to go live. There's no way it's nerve wracking. Um, I understand I've been there, but it's so important to open up people to your life. I'll do lives about it works. And then I'll do lives that have nothing to do with it works. And it's really honestly helps even with conversations, people just typing on your live and you starting a conversation from there. So as far as posting, you want to do, um, everybody is a little different. Just, this is how I do it. I make sure I have a before and after every day and do not worry about people, you know, people being annoyed with them. Seriously. That's like the number one thing that any triple diamond and above will tell you, you don't need to care about what other people are thinking. If they don't like it, they can scroll through. Also, what I love to do is I love to put the, um, before and after in a comment. You know, I'll talk about how amazing this is, look at this awesome transformation, and then they can look at it. If that does make you feel more comfortable about putting those pictures on, you can always put them in the comments, and the people, believe me, are gonna be interested. As a distributor, I get interested when I see other people's, I wanna see what that is anyway. So you wanna have a before and after, uh, every day at least. Um, and then you wanna have two personal posts. You, I think you can have more, but you wanna at least have two. You know, just let people get to know you. That's really important. Um, and then I do one, try to do one every day for joining the business or what this business has done for me. So if I'm not going to ask someone to join my team that day, I'll do it often, but maybe not every single day. I'll say, you know, because of it works, I get to do this or because of it works, I've turned into this person because people who have seen my journey have seen me actually change as a person and become happier and more confident just as a human being. And so I'll talk about that too. It's not just about now I get to have eyelashes. It's about changing as a person. Um, and then another thing is, is branding. I don't know if you guys have talked about this at all. Have you? Just as far as... We've, we've touched on it, yes. Um, and so really quick, if we can just go back to that. Yes. Some of these people are brand, brand new. And so maybe okay. they can't say what It Works has done for them yet. So if you want to expand on that oh. and then go back to the branding and you can just expand there too. Okay. Yes. So as far as what It Works has done for you, I don't know if you guys have done this exercise yet, but you want to write down the words right now, my why, and you want to write a paragraph about why you joined this. And then you want to share that online, your hopes and dreams for this company. I, cause what's good is to think about yourself. What made you join? Because when I, when the girl that I joined with told me her hopes and dreams about her long-term goals with the company, and she, you know, she was going to eventually pay for all her son's medical bills, with this company, that's when I said, wow, okay, maybe that I can, maybe this is something for me too then. So sharing, you know, what is done for you. And if, if you're not at that point yet, it's your hopes and your dreams and your goals. You know, I want to have this rank by this time and I'm working for this bonus. Is that what you might call it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't, it's, it's your journey along the way. So if you're, you know, you can't say, oh, I've, you know, I got an extra 600 this month. This was awesome you know, you can talk about your, your dreams and your goals. And then as far as branding, 
um, you want people to come to your page for a reason, not just it works. You don't want to be like an it works robot. So for me, honestly, it was kind of hard because I can't say, oh, I'm into vegan food. Oh, I'm into cooking. Oh, I'm into shopping. Like I'm really, to be honest, it was tough for me. And so what I came down to is my niche or my reason that people might come to my page having nothing to do with it works is um, I like really love, I'm really into inspirational quotes and talking about the universe. I'm really into those things. And so I use that a lot. I, I talk about, I teach about vibrations. I teach about law of attraction. And I, I teach about what, you know, what I believe in and then I wrap it into inspirational quotes. And I will tell you that I have gotten four distributors simply from talking about the universe, how much I believe in it, how much I believe in law of attraction. We start a normal conversation and four of them have become distributors. I have also gotten several loyal customers just from someone messaging me and saying, Hey, you seriously inspire me. Like I love that quote. I love your outlook on life. And then it turns into a different conversation and they end up getting something from me. So I want you to guys to know, don't ever be discouraged. If you are just having normal conversations with people, you have no idea how much that will come in great later. Like, there are times where I've, you know, been kind of sad where it's just, we just had a great conversation and it's like, have a great day. But believe me, I've, when there was the last one we had, we had the free cleanse with the wraps, you know, this one particular girl that we just had no, it works conversations. She, you know, came to me during that time was like this, that deal seems great. And I love you as a person and your personality. So I want to try it. And it was literally just because of that. So this is all based around branding. So just kind of think about when, when I first joined Colette had a, uh, sorry, a training about branding. And I was like literally silent the whole time thinking, no, <laughs> I, have no I have nothing to talk about, nothing to contribute. So if you're thinking this part's hard, I get that because it took me a while to like come into myself. What do I have to offer, uh, offer other than, you know, you know, my normal, it works posts and then personal. So, but that I cannot stress enough how important it is to kind of just have some type of something that you push or, you know, if it's cooking, whatever it is to think about that. Cause it really does come around. If it doesn't get you that loyal customer that day, it all around will get you more loyal customers. You will start to see them flowing in more. Um, another thing is cons consistency. You have to kind of, I said this at the beginning, but once you start, you, you just don't stop. If you want, if you're wanting to enroll, I enroll like an average of 20 loyals a month. If you want to do that, you can't just say, Oh, today I'm not. Um, I was a full-time teacher and, um, I did find, I'll show you how to do things where you can work full time and do your posts around it. So people need to see if things an average of seven times before they buy in. Have any of you guys seen that bra on your feed that like ties in the middle? Has anybody seen that? Okay. Okay. Someone has. Okay. It literally, it's just like a strapless bra, but it, instead of like sticky, it, it ties and it tightens. Right. And I saw it the first time and I said, okay, that's a joke. That's hilarious. I will never. And then you see it again and you start to wonder and then you see it again and you're like, maybe I need that. And it goes on sale and you end up buying it. So just think about like, <laughs> that's what happens, right? So think about your, just your own journey with buying things because I have that bra now, but I will tell you in my head, I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen when I first saw it. So as people see things, believe me, they'll want to come in more. With the consistency, I have people that will watch me silently for two months and then I'll finally get that call or that text that says, all right. I can't, I can't watch one more rap picture and not buy it. Like you're, I can't not because you've, with your consistency, you know, you've made, I, I'm doing it. Um, so as far as what to post, I do like to post when it comes to it works, just it works. I do like to post about three fourths of our weight loss products, whether it's the cleanse, whether it's the fat fighters, whether it's a whole um, package. And then another 25% is when I'll do, Hey, I'm looking for 10 models for hair, skin and nails. Who wants to get rid of their C-section scars? Because it's always good to pop those in because people that aren't looking for weight loss, those are the people you, that are going to be like, oh, wait, you have other things and you're going to see how excited they get. And people that you have never seen like a photo or you've talked to at all about weight loss is, are all of a sudden going to be you know, your customers for that reason. Um, as far as, so I wanted to also talk about how every month, this month I didn't do it actually, but the other months I've had a bikini body challenge. If you don't follow Jocelyn Yates, go follow her. This is where I got her idea. She's great for having consistency in bikini body challenges and she'll switch it every month. So if you don't follow Justin Yates, um, Y-A-T-E-S, go follow her. 
Um, I sold a lot of systems through this. And what this is, is my first month was March. I think I sold like three systems. Um, then April came around and I saw Jocelyn Yates talking about a bikini body challenge. I was like, well, that's a fun way to market it. I ended up selling like about, I think 12 systems simply because I posted about my bikini body challenge every single day. And it was good morning. My bikini body challenge is on. Then the next day, good afternoon. Just want to remind you I'm having a bikini body challenge and it really worked. I kind of felt like I was being annoying, but it really, really worked. And another good marketing tool is saying, I have 25 spots. May 1st, I had 25 spots. May 15th, I had about 10. And by May 31st, I had one. So you can, although I was making sales, if you're not making those exact numbers, that's okay. Put a sense of urgency in there. Say, I only have five spots left. You know, it's like May 25th type of thing. And for my bikini body challenge, I just did different kinds of posts. I had a bunch of posts of me like in a bikini by the pool and just then writing about the products. This is the fat fighters. This is the cleanse, things like that. And others were before and afters. Um, but others were, and I can put some examples in here, just a picture of a girl. And I would write who wants to lose 10 to 15 pounds. And I would put it up. And those actually did really well because I would always, whenever you get a new loyal customer, you want to write it. Um, you want to put it up and show that you got a loyal customer. And so I would attach it to that to kind of show people, Hey, people are getting this. And I noticed the more that I did that new loyal customer, another spot taken, it actually, it brought in people. Um, I said I had 15 spots. I ended up feeling, filling 12. No one knows that the world thinks I filled 15 and I ended up helping 12 people. And that was awesome. But the point is, is when I was just posting randomly, here's some wraps, here's some other things. I sold three systems. But when I said, you know what, I really want to sell the target trio and the target trio is the wraps, the fat fighters and the cleanse, you know, I really want to sell that. I sold 12 of them simply because I named a bikini body challenge and I talked about it every day. Um, and you, it's so it's end of July. You can absolutely still do that. And I, you can sometimes call it a weight loss challenge for men too. So they don't feel like it's just, just bikini. So, we have, have, oh, sorry, go ahead. Colette. Oh, so really quick. Um, Leanne's asking, can you post those in dare to dream? So maybe, Oh Yeah create it like the bikini body challenge post ideas and then just have a bunch in the feed. Yeah. I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just put them all in because I, st I started at the beginning of the month and kind of just show even like at the last one was like, that's a wrap. I'm glad I could help. And I, the last, you know, one more person was like, you look great. I got to do it. And it was like my life. So I'll just send them all from beginning to end. Just kind of. How that. So it was, and it was I, have, really I have a really quick question. Um, so you posted about your challenge every single day mm -hmm. and then people messaged you and you just immediately went into like the target tree or the system or whatever you were doing that month. You didn't ask like for goals or anything. No, like that. I absolutely did that. Yes. Okay. And so okay. I hadn't even gotten to messaging, but absolutely. So if someone would like a photo, they didn't always have to message me. If anybody liked a photo, I would still message them. And I can go through, like, when I get to the messaging part, exactly Perfect. what that looks like. But, yeah, Perfect. we always talked about goals. Oh, and then that brings me to what I, I forgot about this part. The Bikini Bounty Challenge, it, was, it could be the target trio, but it could also be just the cleanse. Or it could be the Fat Fighters and Thermo Fit. Whatever is going to make them lose weight goes into my Bikini Body Challenge, you know, thing. So when it was a new loyal customer, if that person had just bought Fat Fighters and Racks, I still said, another spot taken on the Bikini Bounty Challenge. So. Yeah, and I'll go over that. Definitely, yeah, asking goals and stuff. Um, let's see. So another thing is honestly just never to miss out on an opportunity to get a loyal customer. Um, and so it is, it is hard to get out of your comfort zone, but it's really important to do that. So, and my loyal customers have come from everywhere. So I've gotten them from posting, like we've been talking about. I've also gotten them from lives, actually going live. Um, I'll notice that, for example, I'll post about greens. Greens is one of the things that's it's a really amazing product, but it's not always that exciting. Like it just doesn't seem that exciting. Then I, you know, videoed someone at a live party talking about the greens. I had three loyal customers afterwards just because it was a little more interesting to hear it live. So it's really important to do lives. Um, and then also blitzing. I've gotten several loyal customers from blitzing. Although some people, depending on how you feel, you might not want to do it, but I, it's really important not to miss out on opportunities to blitz. Um, and also if you guys want it works taken out of your name, cause mine is just wrap with Steph 
I think it's a lot, it has a better ring to it. It's much easier just to like the point, get the point across. If anybody wants to get it works taken out, you can let me know and I will send you the file to get it out. Um, and then I don't know if you've talked to them about this, but just by putting a label on the Blitz card. And I can also send, it's avery.com, A-V-E-R-Y is how I did it. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to put labels, but that's just the one I did. And it, I think it was $6 for like 100 and, you know, so I also go um, just to the UPS store mm -hmm. and they have a computer that you can use and they help you, you know, if you just really don't know how, you can just go there and say, I need to do some labels. Can you help me? And you can print off as many as you want. Totally. Okay. Oh, and as far as going live, live is great because obviously people are super interested in it, but also it changes the algorithm. Everybody can see it. So, and once everybody, if everybody has a chance to interact with you, that makes your, the whole thing go up of people that see your posts and interactive posts. Have you talked to them about that? Inter doing interactive posts? We have, but we have also a few on here that have not been on previous meetings. So go ahead. Okay. So I'm so sorry. Another thing that I should have talked about when I talked about what I post twice a week, I post an interactive post. And that is just literally, I, sometimes I feel funny doing it because I, I still get nervous interacting with people, but you can say anything like, do you like crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? What, how do you, do you like, what's your favorite season? The new GIF thing's really, really popular. Do any interactive posts because it gets engagement up. People you have never even talked to, you have no idea our Facebook friends with you are going to say something. And then you're going to start engaging through that. And then they're going to start seeing their, your posts because they posted on your interactive post having nothing to do with it works. So it's really important to do, do at least two a week at minimum. I have a question about that. Yeah. Um, so when someone comments on your interactive posts, you just do it to interact with them or, um, and then start interacting from there and go from there. That's all. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's a great way. Yeah. So, um, doo -doo -doo. So as far as, so, oh, oh, sorry. Can you guys still? Okay. Yeah. So as far as posting, you want, you're doing all this work. You want people to see your posts. So you do want to be doing power hour. I know you know what that is. Um, as, I just want you to know uh, you can do, I've done two power hours a day and I did it when I was teaching full time. Real quick, not a lot okay. of people know about power hour. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So what Power Hour is, is it's a way to get as many people as possible seeing your posts because you don't want the same 7%, you know, preaching the choir. You don't want it the same people over and over and over seeing it. So Power Hour is something that you should do once a day. I really think that a lot of the reason I get loyal customers is I do too. And I make it a point. And I worked full time and I would get up an hour early for work, before work, and I would do one before work, and then I would do an after work. And what that is, is, and there's slight variations. So it, this might not be like word for word, um, what Colette has said, but what I do is I do five minutes of Facebook requests, requesting people on Facebook. The one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to go to the people you may know because that's, they're probably mutual friends with other distributors, people on your team. You want to find other people. So you just go to get on your feed, click on somebody, go to their friends, and then if you have more than two mutual, two or more is the algorithm, you can click add friend. If there's one or no, don't do it because it's going to say, is this person, do you know this person? And you just say no, because you don't want to get in Facebook jail. So I spend five minutes and I add about 15 people a day. And I would say maybe, you know, two to six people will add me back. So when I say add, it doesn't mean, oh, I got new 15 new friends today. It's I tried and then those people. So you just want to go to some random person's page and then find mutual friends. Just, I have people just from everywhere. You want to get out of your mutual friend box. Um, then I do five minutes of um, following on Instagram. Um, a good way to find people to follow is go and find a boutique or go and find, do hashtag baby clothes, hashtag clothes, because those people that are liking baby photos and are liking really cute clothes probably you know, maybe our post baby, maybe they, you know, really care about fashion. They want to look good in their clothes. So I do a lot of that, those hashtags. And then I notice it's mostly women. So, but also you can go to your feed, go to a picture, 
click on that and follow everybody that liked that photo. So there's, there's different ways to do it. That way, with that, I do end up with a, a lot of guy followers, but I'll tell you about that later too, that I get a lot of male clients through something. So, so that's about 10 minutes. And then another 10 minutes is engaging on your Facebook feed, just like going through and just genuine comments and just clicking like doesn't help. You have to react um, to get their, your engagement up or their engagement up. So genuine comments, reactions, 10 minutes of that. Then this is however long it takes. So this could be five minutes. This could be 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I pick a letter of the alphabet and I go to that letter and I interact with everybody on, with that letter. And so you just go to your Facebook page and then you hit friends. That's how you do it because you might think there's the only way I know how to do it. You actually go to your own Facebook page and you hit friends on your, on your profile. And then you pick a letter. So let's say you pick A. You interact with every person on that. You want to interact with two or more comments or likes. And that way that person will start seeing your stuff. Because as long as you're not seeing theirs, they're not seeing yours. So that, you know, if it's the more friends I get, the longer the letters get, and that might take a little bit. Um, then I do, Instagram's a little different. Have you guys, have they heard about turning on post notifications? Um, some have. Again, some oh. of these guys are new, so some okay. have So Instagram, you can, it's a lot less personal. There's not as much of a community. So I don't just scroll and engage, because that can get very overwhelming, because it's just so many people. So I will, um, anybody who likes an It Works post and we end up talking, I don't care if they said I'm not interested. I put their post notifications on, meaning they showed interest in the business in one way. I don't care if it was a lot of interest or a little interest. Now, whenever they post something, you'll get a do-do-do. You go and you like their photo and you say something about it. And also, they'll really notice you because you're going to, get that post the second it goes up and you're going to be your first like. So they're going to be like, who is this crazy lady? That's the first person that likes my stuff. And so they'll really start noticing you. And so that's how I interact on Instagram. And that obviously gets bigger and bigger as time goes on. So, you know, for you guys, it might be like a two minutes of your power hour, but for me, it's, it's more like 10 because people are always coming through. So anybody that's shown any interest in any, it works posts. Um, when someone likes a personal post, this is just what I do. I let that one personal post go. I don't put them on a list, nothing. If they are continually liking personal posts, then I'll put post notifications on. Then maybe we can get them to start liking at works posts. Um, but the last thing you want to do is be pushy in any way. It, so I'll get a lot of no's and that's okay. But a lot of long, along with those no's, I get a lot of people that say, I really love the way you um, presented that though. Or I just, I really like, I like how you're not pushy. So I, I get a lot of compliments with like how I handle people. So it's good to just no, no matter what, just not be pushy. Um, and then, okay. So that was, so then you have 10 minutes in 10 minutes of messaging on Facebook, whatever messages you need to do. You might need to message this person who likes a cleanse post, any messaging that needs to be done. Also within this messaging, it can be, Hey girl, I love that shirt. Where did you get it? any type of messaging to start conversations. Um, that video was hilarious. Your dog is so cute. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't send those messages to anybody. I send those messages to people I think might be great on my team. So if I see them and I think they're, they'll be like, oh, this girl would be great on my team, then I'll, I'll send random, random messages to them like that on their, on their page or in a message. Um, I also create a hit list. So do you guys know how to create, how do you create a list on a hit list on your Facebook? You do it on your desktop. You'll see on your, your home profile on the left side, there's going to be a list of probably pre-done things that you're not even sure what they are because Facebook generated them. You can go to create lists and then write, I write hit list and girls that I think would be great on my team. I put in that hit list. That way I can interact with them easily because if you click on hit list and you put 10 girls in there, it's only those 10 girls that you're going to see. And so you can interact with them also. So part of this messaging time, you can be doing that. So it's, it's great to have lists. So you have your regular feed, but then you can have extra, you know, personal lists you've made. Um, and then, so the last 10 minutes is going to be posting because it's super important at the very least 
you want to like and comment on 10 posts before you even think about posting. If you, for some reason, are in a bind and you cannot do a power hour before your post, okay, definitely like and comment on 10. Never just cold posts because you, that's just a waste. You want as many people to see this as possible. So that's that last 10 minutes is posting because you've done a lot of stuff. You've talked to people. You've interacted. Now you post. More people are going to see it. During that last 10 minutes, I also un mass unfollow people on Instagram. Um, and there's an app for that. It's called Insta Clean. And all you do is you scroll to the bottom and you click select people that are not following, non-followers. And then you're going to like mass unfollow, you know, like anywhere from 50 to 200 people. That Because you don't want it to be like, I have 5,000 followers and I'm following 19,000 people. It, just looks, it looks weird. So you want to keep them even. So that last 10 minutes, I'm also unfollowing. Um, some people will say add to your hundreds list during your power hour. I don't think there's time. I do a power hour and I ask, and then I add to my hundreds list. So adding to your hundreds list means those people that I've interacted with, maybe I put them on a hit list, maybe I didn't, but I put them on my hundreds list and their name is there. Not just their name, the date that we interacted, the date they liked my post and a little note, like, I don't know, liked my cleanse post. Um, and the one thing I've learned is a hundreds list in the beginning didn't work for me because it was like a long list of names and it was just really overwhelming. And I literally had a full month where I like left the, the hundreds list alone, didn't touch it. And that, that made me overwhelmed because I'm like, I'm not doing what I need to. So a really great way to do the hundreds list is to break them up. So here, this is my cleanse follow-ups. These are only people that have talked to me about the cleanse and not followed through, whether they liked a photo or we got to the end and they didn't buy right when I said, what's easiest for you? Your, me take your information or you take mine and they disappear. Um, this, and this is amazing because you never know when a sale is gonna happen. So last night when they announced cleanse, I was like, awesome. Here's every single person that hasn't followed through with me yet and I messaged every single one of them today. So it's, it's kind of like being on top of it rather than, oh wait, did I talk to that person? When, who were they? On what mode? So it's just a really great way. So like I have my cleanse follow-ups, I have my wraps follow-ups, hair, skin, nail follow-up, target trio follow-up. And so that was when like the light bulb went on for me is, okay, I can handle a hundreds list because before it was just like stressful. Does anybody have any questions about that? Good, okay. So that's power hour. So um, when I was working full-time and I was a teacher, I would wake up an hour early and I would do a power hour. And then I would come home and around four-ish, five-ish do a power hour. For people who work, it's super important to still be posting. And the easiest way to do that is prepare your post the night before in Instagram. Instagram will save your post. So all you do is you go and pretend like you're posting. You do everything. Then instead of hitting OK, because you're going to, sh to share it, you actually hit the back button which like was really nerve wracking to me the first time. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna lose it all. You hit the back button and it says, do you want to save this as a draft? And you say yes. And then it's there. You, so I would do, what I would do when I got home is I would do my power hour. I would do all my messaging and kind of right before I went to bed, I would prepare three posts and cause I would do three kind of during the day and then two at night, maybe one at night. And that way they were just all saved. And then I can just copy and paste onto Facebook. And so that was the way I made sure, because a lot of people will say, at least on my downline, will say, I, I can't do that, I'm working. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> you have five seconds to hit post during the day. And if you're busy during the day, don't, you don't need to be interacting. You don't need to be let, you know, answering people's messages, messaging people. You can save that all till after work. But just make sure you have your post there. That way the work's, you know, everything's in place for you to go back and then message those people and engage with those people. It's just really, I learned the hard way. You want to engage strategically rather than just like liking people's posts and interacting with people. You want it to be way more strategic than that because no one has time for that. Um, sorry, I didn't know if you just. I've got a question. Yes. So I've never heard of the um, saving it to Instagram and I love that idea. Now, how is that comparable to um, post or like pre scheduling posts on Hootsuite? So that is, I don't know. I've literally been told to do that and I'm going to look into that like today. So that might be better. 
I have I mean, no idea. I just yeah, I, I think they're very similar. I mean, it's, okay. it's the same idea, but I'm trying to look at. So when I hit back on Instagram, where does it save it? Where's my draft? So when you go, let's see. They're right here. So if you see how like this would be my last. Sorry. Okay. So for sorry. So here, when you go to like, you know, you want to add. This is like my last. This just happens to be like my last picture yeah. that was there. These right here are in a line. Oh, These yeah. were the same ones. Oh, so like it. right now, this is your library. Yeah. And then these right here are the ones okay. that are saved. Got it. And I can see here, I should like delete them because they've been saved. <laughs> okay. These are small ones. If yeah. I can add really quick about Hootsuite, um, mm -hmm. that is going, you can pre plan post through that app mm -hmm. and it will share to your social media accounts, but it completely changes the algorithm where it's a third party app posting for you. So, especially Facebook doesn't. The, they're not going to show up in your news feeds in people's news feeds as, as often. Oh really? Facebook, yeah. Facebook doesn't like it when Yeah, they like genuine. Yeah. They like it when it's original. And if there is like posted via Hootsuite, that is a link that will take potential, you know, customers out of Facebook into a different vendor. And so they won't show it as often. So I would definitely recommend doing what you do um, with Instagram or like even just saving them in a notepad and copying and pasting too. that, that, you know, that works as well. And I think Tiffany, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the way Tiffany does it is she just creates the post in Hootsuite and then copy paste it from there. Um, because Hootsuite allows you to save the picture, but a notepad usually can't just, like save a picture. Is that right, Tiffany? Yeah, that's right. I don't have a post directly from there. I'll yeah. copy and paste it to Instagram and paste it to um, Facebook. Because what I was finding out was that when I was posting it directly from Hootsuite to Facebook, it was putting it in a specific album. I didn't like that. So I would just copy and post. And what I do like about Hootsuite is so it'll give you reminders of when to post. So I'll like to post mine every two to three hours and it'll like give me a reminder on my phone it's time to post because otherwise I'll completely forget. Yeah. I heard that is really cool that it has the reminder. Obviously, yeah, Instagram doesn't have that. For me, being a teacher, like I knew when to post because it was it was my prep period, so it was like oh post, and then it was lunch. So because when you're a teacher, like you you don't have free reign on your phone. So the only two times I had I had a break, I knew to do it. But yeah, if I'm like at a desk and all days the same, I not I might not remember. But yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's just saved right in there for you. Yeah. And I know a lot of people too. I've heard that they'll go in airplane mode and make posts. Right, call it. Yeah, and then it'll come off airplane mode, and and you have to physically say um, retry when you want that one to go. So oh, were, so you I've might done that have, before. Yeah, you might have a bunch in there that so on airplane mode, like the night before, you add all your posts, and then the next day, every two hours, you just hit retry for the next one. Every two hours, retry for the next one, so that they go out periodically. I guess it's just a matter of finding out what works best for you and yeah I think it all sounds basically the same yeah just whatever works best for you yeah for sure um, I think that was kind of it for posting did it like I will for the bikini body challenge I'll just put all those in there right um and then did you guys have anything else about posting because I think that's kind of all I you just want, honestly you want everything to be super genuine in Facebook. Oh yes, if you if you love someone's post and you copy and paste it, change at least forty percent of the content because it's just emojis. Really yep. Yeah. One thing I would like to add, um, I know some people they'll they'll say um, like I've added some distributors to my team and um, some from Instagram and they'll say well I don't have Facebook. Or some from Facebook, they say, I don't have Instagram. I think it's really important to utilize both Facebook and Instagram because you'll get different customers from both areas. Whereas Facebook, you'll really get to know somebody. You know, like I always say, people buy into you before they buy into a product. 
Facebook is a wonderful way to show that you're a regular person. You have a family, you have kids, you have a full-time job. Instagram is very hard to kind of portray that image. So, and it's, and at the same time, Instagram is all about pictures. People are scrolling and with Instagram, you can reach, I mean, 50 different, you know, states, you know, tons of different countries because we shift to so many different countries. So with Instagram, we can reach outside of our um, inner circle, our state, or, you know, even our country. Facebook is more, um, you're kind of connected in a certain way, you know, you know, a certain amount of people. So it's important to utilize both platforms and grow your audience on both platforms um, in order to be successful in this business. Don't just cut out one and use, you know, use the other because otherwise you're really limiting yourself. I agree. Yeah. And as far as getting loyal customers, yeah. If you're not adding 15 people a day on Facebook and trying to add like 200 a day on Instagram, like, yeah, you're preaching to the choir and it's going to be the same thing yes. same people over and over. So yeah, adding of course is part of getting loyal customers. Adding. And pay attention to how many, you know, look tonight, look at how many friends you have on Facebook. If you only have 200, 300, even 400 friends, you've got to up that by the thousands. You know, I always say try to get to a thousand friends on Facebook as fast as you can, because the more people that are seeing your posts, the more opportunity that you're going to have out there. If you only have 200 Facebook friends, 30 people are seeing your posts. Mm -hmm. So really grow that. Mm -hmm. And different people are seeing your posts at different time of day. So it's really important to make sure you post those four to six times. Cause, yep. And that's another thing that um, Colette had taught me is if I felt like I said, you know, I have 10 models for hair, skin, and nails, and, you know, I got a loyal customer from that. I thought that post was really awesome, and I didn't want to do it again. No. Just literally you can do it again because different people are going to see it. And if you feel better, you can say, hey, I have seven more spots and do it another one more time. I have three more spots because so different people are going to see that every single time. And that's helped me get more loyal customers is really like I can do that more than once. And it's okay. Um, so as far as messaging, I um, obviously message everybody that likes my photos, my, my It Works photos and or comments on them. Um, but one particular conversation I have, and I will put it on, I put it in the Dream Without Limits page, but I'll put it in here too, because honestly, half of my loyal customers have gone, come from one conversation. And it's a lot of them are guys because, you know, guys will like your photos, especially on Instagram, not really on Facebook, but on Instagram, there's a lot of just random guys like my photos. And I don't want to just like, you know, if there's 30 guys that like it and 10 girls, I want to be able to talk to all 40 people. I don't want it to be like, okay, only the women. So so the way I do it is, and I'll put this right in there, I ask guys, and I ask guys to be a product tester. I have eight customers on New You, but I've never put up a New You post in my life. So it's about kind of just talking to them specifically and deciding kind of what you were talking about earlier is finding their goals. So I'll just say, um, hey, thanks so much for the love on the post. I appreciate it. Would you be willing to be a product tester? I'm looking for four more guys to get 40% off for 90 days. And then when they respond to wanting details, I'll explain it. You know, I'll pair you with products. You just tell me how you like it at the end. I'd be checking up on you monthly to see how it's going. How's the sound? And you know, when they say, oh, it sounds great, I'll ask, okay, so what would, what's the main goal you're working towards? And they'll tell me and I'll say, okay, how are your workout and eating habits? Kind of getting to know them, that whole buying in, asking questions, always, always, always. And then once they, you know, once we've talked about once we've the challenge, what their main goal is and their, you know, their current health and workout, then I'll say, okay, this is what I think would be great for you. And that's how I've gotten a lot of LCs is just through that one message to, I'll send it out to so many guys. Um, and then for women, for the bikini body challenge, it's the same thing, except we, we know it's a bikini body challenge, but okay, what is your main goal? And I'm going to match you up and it, it's in the post. So you'll see it. It's, you know, the two or three products that are really going to help you reach those goals. You still ask them, what are your eating habits? What are your workout habits? Then you, then you can ask. And you always want to start bigger, you know, say this is, this system would be great for you. And you know, if that doesn't work out and they can only afford the fat fighters, that's better than just getting them the fat fighters when they would have gotten on the system. So always, yeah, starting with, it's always a question at the end. I'm sure you guys, you know, already know that you ask a question, how does that sound to you or, What's your main goal? What do you think? Does that work for you? You always want to ask a question at the end. Um, I love to ask people what their budget is as well. Mm -hmm. um, because 
I've found like, you know, like you said, when you offer big, sometimes it scares them away a little bit. And then they think that they have to have all those products to reach the results that they want. Um, or I've offered something too low, you know, like, you know, maybe fat fighters and a cleanse or greens and whatever. And then come to find out that they have like a two or three hundred dollar budget that they because they're really motivated and they want all the help in the world. So I love to ask people what their budget is to spend monthly on the products. And that gives me a really it gives me a lot of focus on like what's the most important thing to pick out for them. And how motivated are they? Like, yeah, so what's your budget? How motivated are you to reach your goal in the next three months? Like all of that combined. Like, I love that you guys are touching on nutrition and you're touching on exercise. Like, you're letting them know, like, this is part of it, you know? So I'm really impressed with all of you guys with all of your comments. Hopefully this is helping everyone. And this is being recorded, so it can help so many others. And so um, in the last part is the follow-up. Obviously, I'm sure you've heard fortune is in the follow-up. So many loyals come from following up. 2% of sales happen on try one. It's only 2%. So it's a no is not a no. It's an, I do not have a no list. It's a not now list. So what's, what's really great. And what I just recently learned is if someone says, you know, not right now, or they, and you say, okay, what is a great time to follow up? And if they say, you know, Friday at two, there is in your fit in Facebook messenger, you put appointment and you type in Friday at two and then it comes and you say, sounds great. And you put that appointment up and they realize you're serious. And then they have to say going or not going. And that's, and also it reminds you 30 minutes before it reminds them 30 minutes before. So you don't have to think, you know, right at that time, Oh, Friday at two, I hope they're, you know, on their phone or I hope they're remembered. They were reminded 30 minutes before. So I loved learning about that. So use that little, it's super easy. So use that for sure. And if you're talking on Instagram, that's a great way to get them on Facebook. Hey, do you have Facebook? Because you know, I'd love to talk through there and then do the appointment there. Um, and I think that's, did anybody have any questions? Or, I feel like I'm, is there anything else? Cause I've kind of was. Oh my gosh, this has been amazing. Um, are, are you done? Just one more thing I was gonna say yeah. is just as far as people, new people for your first loyal customers, do not be afraid. My first two out of my four were mom and dad. Hey, I have started this new business. I think you're gonna be great with this product. Let's do this. Like, hey mom and dad or, brother, sister, help me out. And that's a great way to just get those first one or two. And then the others came from me started posting, but it's just ask your close friends and family say, Hey, I've started this business. My third um, loyal customer was my best friend. She had a probiotic. Hey, I see you use a probiotic. Do you want to just switch yours out for mine? Try it for 90 days, please. And that was my first three. And so it's just, we want to get you those first four for sure. So just don't be afraid to ask the people that are close to you because they'll want to help you out. Yeah, exactly. And what I love about all of this is her intentional work. It's, it's very intentional. She knows exactly what she's doing. So if you might be going, okay, now I feel a little overwhelmed. Okay. Now, I mean, there's so much to learn. Well, great. You can watch this playback over and over again about what to do, but um, we can take it in smaller scales. You can implement one thing at a time um, but what I love about this is everyone has the opportunity. I, we heard from Stephanie say she tried one way and it didn't work. You know, Tiffany's trying another way and for her, something else might work a little bit better. I personally like, am a super organized person, but it took me almost three years to find an organization for me at home that worked for me that I didn't feel a little chaotic. And so um, don't stress about that, you know, something's going to come that you feel like is a good flow for you. But what I wanted to kind of stress on is this business can work for every single one of you, but it does, it is a little bit of a learning curve. We do have to figure out how to message people, how to post. And so something is going to be a little bit outside of your comfort zone. But if we want this to work, we have to stretch, we have to try something new. And if you want, killer income, we've got to work with intention, um, with our power hours, with the lists, with the follow-up. Otherwise, you know, you're still going to make some money and it's going to be hobby money. But if you want this killer pay, we've really got to be 
I'm going to say it again, intentional with our time and um, with our focus. And it, like, I just love all the detail, Stephanie, that you gave. Um, like I have, um, I had written down, I was listening to a YouTube video from Jade Hooper this morning while I was getting ready for my Vegas trip. And um, so I, I like having things in the background while I'm doing something else. And she was talking about what she does. She does um, posting the three, three rule, which is three personal posts and three business posts. Um, she does a, an hour of messaging minimum and her follow-up, which is exactly what Stephanie touched on. Um, talk, she talked about what are your dreams, which Stephanie, she did that as well. You know, what are your dreams? You have to let Facebook or Instagram know that we have dreams, that we have things that we're working towards, but you need to work as if you have no other option. Don't give yourself an out. Don't give yourself like, oh, I'll give this 30 days. And if I don't get any customers, no, work like you have no other option. And what she meant by that is if the way that you're posting currently isn't working, then study and figure out how to make it work. Do some research, look on YouTube, find, um, find someone, um, an upline that has good YouTube videos. But if it's not working, change it. If it's not working, ask for help. Um, study, figure it out, learn, and, and educate yourself so that you can find a way to make it work. Um, let's, oh, so Corey, I was reading your notes here. Um, okay, so she was just expanding over there. I don't know if we'll be able to see the notes on playback, but Corey said, they say yes, and then I always ask, okay, perfect, how much caffeine do you drink? What is your diet like? What do you eat? How often do you eat? Do you exercise? Tell me what you'd like to improve about your hair, body, skin, and what you love. What is your budget? Okay, those are all excellent questions to ask. Um, okay, anyone else? Um, Stephanie, oh, Tiffany, do you have anything you wanna add? Sorry. Oh, about this, Colette. What? Muted, oh. Um, is, you know, we are a health and wellness industry. Mm -hmm. so people are going to watch you and they're going to want to make sure that you are using the products as well. So you need to be a product of the product. You need to work out. You need to show, you know, that you're using ultimate thermofit. You need to show that you're using, you know, your greens, um, incorporate that into your lifestyle and make this your journey as well. And just post about it, post how it makes you feel. This is going to get so much more, um, respect than just showing other people's before and after pictures. Right. Have yourself be a product of the product and, you know, get your own fitness goals and brag about them. That's how people are going to join you. They're going to say, oh my gosh, she's lost this much weight. She's working out. She's, you know, she's doing amazing. She's actually, you know, living the healthy lifestyle. That's so important to do. A lot of people, they don't. Marketing is huge with this company. So it's really important to show or to watch how you're marketing your products. Yep. yep I agree. Um, let's wrap this up and end on on personal development, how so important it is that you, that you spend a little bit of time each day on personal development. If you feel like you can conquer the world, you will. If you have doubt and fear in what you're doing, it's going to show and, and you're going to flounder and you're going to be frustrated. Um, when we have doubt, it's because we lack confidence and we gain confidence by studying, by listening, by feeling better about what we're working towards um, by the personal development. Um, and I know that Stephanie is amazing at it um, because she studies law of attraction and, and personal development. Um, yes, I have a book I'm absolutely loving right now. If I can go get it real quick, I don't know if yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm just gonna get it real quick, you guys. Um, I've ordered a few more. Um, One's called the five second rule and it's about conquering your fears in the first five seconds that you think of something because you're going to talk yourself out of it. If you don't um, tackle whatever you're thinking of in the first five seconds, it's like, Oh, I need to make a doctor's appointment. You will forget. You will put it off another day if you don't do it right now. Um, and it's been great for just going after things that maybe you're a little afraid of. Okay, Stephanie. So this one is called The Power of Intention, Learning to Co-Create Your World Your Way. And it's all about using the universe to do exactly what you want. 
that whole, you can have it all. And ex this is exactly how you can do it. He has amazed several amazing books. He's Wayne Dyer is extremely, he, he's not alive, but he was extremely famous. Um, but this is honestly my favorite of his and going along with, um, she said before about, you know, I don't, it's having goals or making sure you're just working to better yourself. One quote I love is inactivity breeds doubt. So when you're inactive and you're starting to, your confidence is going down, you're getting in your head, do something, do anything because inactivity definitely breeds doubt. So you want to do the opposite of that. Perfect. Yep. And you guys, oh my gosh, I, I could just keep going, but we've already been on an hour. Oh, okay. I just have to stop. So <laughs> Stephanie, this was amazing this was golden i'm going to be watching this over and over again as well i took notes um i love your drive your focus and you are successful because of your consistency because of what you're doing every single day so i want to congratulate you you've been doing so amazing and um diamond is just around the corner for you i'm so excited for you thank you thanks guys thanks for having thank on you everyone for hopping on and everyone who commented everything was great so have a great night everyone